Hi, this is Martin from DesignMeHeatPump.com. I'm just going to run through the Hisense Air Source Heat Pump main controller. This is the basic settings you set when you first turn the heat pump on. First of all, we set the language and then press the little tick. Then we set the date. Let me set the time. Now we set how many cycles we have. Basically this is how many flow temperatures or how many circuits. So have we got ground floor, um, underfloor and first floor radiators or two radiator circuits or two underfloor circuits. In this case we're just going to select one cycle. Then it asks us what type of heat emitters have we got on this one cycle. We're going to select radiators. Next question. Do we have a domestic hot water installed? Yes. Do we have an immersion heater? Yes. Do we have an electric heater for the heat pump? A backup heater? No. Do we have a boiler? Nope. Do we have solar? No. Do we have a swimming pool? No. Now the system asks us what sensors are connected to what um, ports on the sensor pockets. We're not going to change any of these apart from the last two, so the rest can stay as default. The last two is sensors 6 and 7. This is set to room ambient sensors. If we don't change these to no function, um, the system will lock out because it's actually looking for that sensor. And it'll lock out on something like A5. Press the tick. Now it's asking us about the outputs, about the relay outputs in the system. Again, they're all default settings. As an example, output 2 is our water pump after the buffer tank. So we're going to leave all them, we're not going to change them, and just press tick. Now it asks us how many rooms are connected to cycle 1. So we're just going to say we've got one room. And now it asks us about the thermostat connected to that room. So we're just going to select the master wired sensor. So this is the master controller, and this would need to be installed in the hallway or in your lounge wherever you want to monitor that temperature. It asks us about room actuators. We have no actuators or zone valves connected to this, so we're just going to leave that switched off. And that's it for the basic settings. We now click confirm and away you go. And now all we need to do is press the room, switch the room on, set your temperature and away you go. You can hear the system starting. Press the tick, go back to cycle, and we will, on the next video, put in the weather compensation settings.